All right, so we are back with Lead the Meerkats here. Uh, once again, we're doing the voiceover because the audio is just... I couldn't fix it. I tried. It is... I can't separate the good channels from the bad channels, so unfortunately, you're stuck with very chatty me. So, here I am explaining that I want to start moving forward and really start getting a move on since we seem to be running out of food in the lower portions of the map, so we want to get moving upwards so we can, well, get a move on. So, now we have our next little puppy here, and it's going to be a B name, and I think we only have the one. I know we only have the one, but I'm thinking we only have the one, so I'm trying to decide if I want to go with Butterfly or Bumblebee, and I've decided on Bumblebee. And then I go off on a tangent about how you should support your local pollinators and not invasal, invasive pollinators. So, uh, if you live in the U.S., honeybees are not native to the U.S., so screw honeybees, alright? No, no need to help them. And then I write bumblebees, plural, like a silly person, because I was talking about bumblebees, plural, Tried to hit the back button and deleted the whole thing, so we're starting over with a bumblebee singular. So just research what local plants are native to your area and look for plants that support local pollinators as opposed to honeybees, which are jerks. And we're gonna we're about to see me struggle <laughs> commanding a large number of meerkats. And I'm still working with the controls a little bit, but I am still a little bit bad at those. So I'm looking around for some food. We want to get uh, just a little bit of food before we leave this area, but I'm quickly realizing that not much is spawning over here anymore. The game is telling us we got to get a move on. And we're walking back and forth. I'm wondering where the heck my family went, because it seems like just Bumblebee's following me, and then they all just teleport behind me. So we're moving on up in the world, checking all these potential spots for food. But again, not much is spawning, because we've already been through here. Ooh, there's a little niblet. Let's grab that. Sunny's going to scout ahead while they're doing that. Just trying to get any food we still can out of this area before we move on because we want to increase the number of meerkats we have available to us so that we can get more food in the future, because eventually we will start losing meerkats. Uh, you may notice on the, on the menu screens there's a plus and a minus, and that minus will come into effect. So I'm looking at food, and I'm making plans for moving the den down this way. But I'm multitasking, and I'm not super great at multitasking. So... Monster's going to help Ant carry that back home. Sunny's going to help Bumblebee carry that back home. And we are already over 100%, so that's good. Monster has started doing that again for some reason, and I do not know why. So I'm gathering them to me. And I want to make that last dig over to here. And I believe it's still not letting me. I, I don't know what's going on with this, so I'm going to pull it back a little bit and see if I can... If it's just a little too far, if I can dig it there, which I can. So, I guess that was just a little bit too long for the computer to handle or something. You'll remember last episode, I also couldn't get it to go. And I, the timer on the night ran out for me. So, still no food. Checking the map. I'm going to bring that the last little distance here. There we go. Sunny's just going to scout on ahead for our next location, and if there's any food around. Any at all. There we go, there's one. Not, ooh, a lizard, that's new. Haven't seen lizards before. And there's somebody just hanging up on the ridge there. It must be Bumblebee, yeah. Fascinating, I don't know how he got up there. How she got up there? How they got up there? The meerkats don't exactly have genders, and it doesn't matter, so... Uh, I, I'm gonna be... We'll say she for Bumblebee, he for Ant, and we'll see... We'll, we'll just 
assign them as we go. Assigned genders, but uh, store bot is fine. That probably didn't read super well. I was trying to make a joke and it did not read well, I don't think. We're assigning genders here, but if you don't have that, store bot is fine. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm a little distracted. So, that's a single beetle, so they can just bring that home on their own. Apologies for the yawning, I can't quite cut it out. I might be able to cut it out, actually. If there was a silence there instead of a yawn, then I cut it out. <laughs> so let's bring that down. We can take the shortcut here. Always take the shortcuts. Because look, we didn't have to go around. We would have had to make a V shape otherwise. So I'm thinking we're going to make it pretty far. So I'm just going to scout ahead a little bit. There's the river again. Which, you can just barely see the green grass on the other side, and I bet Sunny's missing her home. But for now, she has her own family to take care of, and we're getting surprisingly close to 200%. I don't think we're going to make it, but we're getting pretty close. We're really just focusing on expansion here. And again, she's going to scout ahead and hope that maybe she can get a little bit more food while the tunnel is digging. And it looks like she is. She's thinking she might be able to make it to... I think we might be able to make it... Whoops, I dropped the thing. And I'm starting to panic because no one's here to help me. There they are. Like, they all just disappeared on me, but they're not helping me, and I can't make them help me. So Sunny's just bringing it all the way. They're just not helping. They're just watching her carry it back, and I'm like, okay, fine. I'll just carry it back on my own. Later I realized that I probably could have dropped it and picked it up again and magically solved my problems, as I'm pretty sure I do later in this episode. Or right now, because something's clearly bugged here. I have to drop it and pick it up because it's just not... It's just not letting me. Would not let me put it in the den. And putting it in the den happens automatically when you get close enough to it. You don't need to do anything with that. So I know that that's going to auto-complete whether or not we have time or not because of what happened last episode. So I'm not too worried about that actually finishing. We're just looking for any more food, but uh, quickly realize that that's not going to happen. So we will now have eight meerkats. I'm gonna save that real quick. I don't trust this emulator much at all. And we're getting, we're really close to that three. So. Let's see if we can get any further. And now we need C names. I had a really hard time coming up with them, and I didn't watch this footage beforehand, so uh, it'll be a surprise for me too. Oh, Caterpillar. Yes, I decided on Caterpillar because that's that's a good name. Someone in the comments suggested Cicada or Cricket, and I believe that is better than whatever the second name I came up with for here. I don't know what I went with. So I'm thinking about Cockroach, because it's the only other one that comes to mind. What do I go with? I legitimately don't know. I didn't watch this footage. I had a long day at work. Listen, I want to go to bed. <laughs> I want to go to bed, guys. You lot, I really want to go to bed. I'm just getting this over with. <laughs> do I go with Cricket? No, I'm not that smart. Oh, right, okay. So I was wondering if I could get away with Cocoon, and then I decided on Chrysalis. Maybe Chrysalis is a cool name, but it's not an actual insect. It's just, like, a part of a cocoon. I, I couldn't come up with anything better. I should have named one of them Cicada or Cricket. Th those are such cool names. Someone else had a really cool name, and I can't remember what it was now. So... Just checking the food spots on our way back over to expand the den. We really want to get a move on, because... Clearly the food is, uh... Not here anymore. So, luckily it let us just move directly to the den. Checking over here by the waterfall. Maybe Sunny fell down that waterfall. And you can see the green clean on the other side there. 
It's not right up against the riverbanks like it probably should be, but, you know, it's over there. You can see it. And Sunny's just kind of supervising while uh, her family's doing all the work here. So, I'm thinking Caterpillar, non-binary, and Chrysalis Girl. Maybe both non-binary, I don't know. Like... Chrysalis, Cocoon, Caterpillar, they're, they're all very ungendered or explicitly transition gender. I don't know. I'm using they, them for them. Y'all can fuck off, okay? <laughs> Alright, so I'm exploring this little up section here. We're getting some food. Uh, scorpions, centipedes, whatever's up here but I want to make sure that I'm checking all of it out for food, and I realize that I've gone a little bit too far, and that I've probably left that scorpion to its own devices, and, oh, it's still there. So, all good, all good. But Sunny can't explore too much with their family looking for food, because, you know, they gotta send their family to bring the food back. And help your father carry that home. Yes. Bumblebee... Follow your mother. Why are you just standing there staring like a weirdo? And Ant just teleports behind you, yet again. Oh, oh, and the lag. So, I don't know what happened here. It was freaking out on me, and I was trying to pull up the menu to save. Could not do it. Couldn't do anything. Uh, none of my controls were working, and it hung like this for quite a while, and I was freaking out that it was going to crash. I was going to have to start the day over, and then it magically fixed itself, just like that. That was weird. Don't know why it did that. Really scared me. But we're going to catch that. And yeah, all, all my buttons pushed at once afterwards. So we're getting to 150%. I'd like to start getting two pups a day, just so that we have siblings, because... If we want to get emotionally attached to these meerkats, they need to have litter mates. Alright? So that it can be more dramatic when they inevitably die later. It's very important. So I'm just thinking about the best path bringing that up, and I'm getting a little bit sidetracked looking for food. And by a little, I mean a lot sidetracked. Checking over here, checking over there, back over here again. Bring that home. Ant, don't leave the scorpion on its own. Kill it. Your cats eat scorpions, and they look so badass when they do it. I don't, I don't even want to be in the same room as a scorpion, but these guys are sticking their mouth parts right by it. They have such cute little teeth. That's all I can think about when I see them eating a scorpion, is one, that's terrifying, and two, they have such cute little teeth and, like, lip whiskers. They're funny. And again, no one's coming to help me. And I think this is the point where I realize, hang on, can't I just drop this? Yeah, I'm, I don't want to go all the way back there. I'm dropping this. Goodbye. Someone help me, okay? Someone come and help me. And they just magically teleport to my side. And there it is. Sunny was not meant for physical labor. She was meant to lead. We're running out of daylight, so I'll, we're going to try to bring the den over just as fast as we can. Maybe some of them can get food while we're doing that, but we want to get this going quick, quick, quick before the sunlight runs out. What little there is left of it. Or I'm just going to stand there like a weirdo. There we go. Alright, any food? We're going to explore this section again. There was food here before. But once again, it looks like nothing's going to spawn right now because we've already picked it dry. So let's just bring this back over here. It's not really a shortcut to go under that, but it it's better than nothing. Better than going around, I guess. And we're going to go back up here, see if we can get any last minute food, which we can. Someone can handle that on their own, so Sunny doesn't need to supervise. Let's go up here. Any more beetles? No. No more beetles. And we're really running out of time. And I want to get that den moving. Oh, but there's food over here. Someone get that. 
Someone get that, and then someone get the den. Perfect. My timing is impeccable. You cannot convince me otherwise. Uh, just a little bit. Just as close as we can. And since we started the tunnel, it'll finish. But I don't think we're going to get another one in tonight. You've reached the... Uh, yeah, we reached the main burrow spot a while ago, and yes, I've discovered the map screen. Thanks. But you can select the active main burrow. It automatically takes you to the most recent one, but I guess you can go back to old ones if you need be. So this is going to be the end of our final day. I know that's going to finish, so we don't need to worry about it. And we're going to have nine meerkats tomorrow. I'm going to save. It didn't... You didn't look at any of the stats, Jay. What are you doing? And then I'm just playing around with the burrow system. So we're almost to the fourth burrow. We should be able to make that tomorrow. Probably not the fifth, but we'll, we'll focus on getting to the fourth burrow and getting more food next time, I believe. Maybe exploring some of these other spots uh, to just increase our food amount. One can hope. One can hope. But that's going to be it for this episode. I know the Meerkat episodes are a little bit shorter, but if I tried to push it for another day, it would just be too long. So really, really, truly give me some name suggestions for uh, D, E, and F. Someone suggested Dung Beetle. Uh, gosh, I'm trying to remember what the comments said. The nice thing about me doing the voiceovers is that even though I recorded these... Uh, before the comments came out, since I have to redo the voices anyway, I still get to comment on the comments. Which is nice. Still a little annoying that that happened, but, uh, hopefully you lot at least appreciate my commentary. I know someone said that they didn't mind the commentary, but I still feel really bad that we, we miss out on whatever it is I was saying before. It's just, the game music was so loud. Anyway, I'm running out of time here. So let me know, D, E, F, let's go even far to G and H names. Alright, give me some ideas. Thank you, and goodbye.